Hello and welcome back to the Pentest Workshop. In this video we're going to be taking down the Chatterbox machine from Hack the Box. We're going to take advantage of the workshop's in-app exploit database utility to make cracking this box very straightforward. Let's get started. We start here on our pentest.ws dashboard with our mission control. We open up the HTB retired engagement. We're going to add a new host with an IP address of 10.10.10.74 with a label of chatterbox. We'll give it a type of server. This is a Windows machine. Add a host. And the first thing we want to do is click scan and import. This brings up our port scan templates. We'll select the TCP top 1000 switch over to our terminal, paste this command in, and from running this scan previously, I know that this scan's not going to return any ports. The ports that we're looking for are not in Nmap's top 1000 list of ports. So we'll cancel out of this, and we're going to add a couple of ports. We're going to add port 9255 and 9256, and we know that because previously I ran the all TCP ports. It takes a while. It's got to scan 65,000 ports. So we're going to cheat a little bit. Just scan the ones that we know are open. So we have port 9255 and 9256. We'll bring that back into our web application and start taking a look at these ports. Let's start with the 9255. It's an HTTP service. We've got a shortcut here to open this URL in the browser. It opens the IP address and the port number. That doesn't return anything. Let's switch down to the 9256. Now this service says achat, which we don't know much about. So we're going to scroll down We'll see if Nmap has any HAT scripts, which it does not. We're going to use the exploit DB in-app search utility. We can search for exploits that have the HAT name in it, and we find a couple. The first one here from 2015, that's a Metasploit. We're going to skip that one for now. The 2015 HAT buffer overflow, if we click on this, We'll get all the juicy details about this exploit. What platform, what type it is, and we can take a look at the source code right in the, the pentest.ws app. This looks like we'll need to run MSF Venom to generate some payload. We'll have to replace this payload here. And this IP address, the 9256, is the port that we're looking at, so this is probably going to work. Now there's a couple of ways to get this exploit out of the web app and onto our machine. We can copy the entire exploit, paste it into a text editor. We can actually download the file if we want. But of course, Kali has the search exploit utility built in, so we can mirror that just by clicking this copy button. And by pasting this command in, Searchploit will dump a copy of the 36025.py exploit into our working directory. We'll open up Sublime, which is my text editor of choice. And we'll start modifying this exploit. It looks like we've got an MSF Venom command to run to generate some shell code. We need to change the payload from executing the calc program, which is an classic proof of concept. We'll change this to a reverse shell. We're going to need to add an L host and an L port. And it looks like we've got a ton of bad characters. Let's start mocking up this MSF Venom command. We'll bring it down here. We're going to change the payload to shell reverse TCP. We don't need the command. We can set the L host to 
our IP address, set the L port 4545, and everything else looks just fine. Make sure we comment this line back out. Now that our shell code's been created, we need to copy this back into our exploit. Replace this section. And we also need to change the target IP address, which is 10, 10, 10, 7, 4. Save that. Everything else looks fine. Switch back to our terminal. We'll open up a sidebar. And let's get a netcat listener going. NVLP 4545. Fire off the exploit. Okay, fire off the exploit again. There we go. And we've got a shell. IP config. We are indeed on the Chatterbox machine. And if we check our user, we are the Alfred user. So the first thing we do is switch into the users directory, have a look at who's here. If we jump into the Alfred and look at the desktop, I'm sure we'll find the user key there, but we're interested in the root key, which is going to be in the administrator folder. Now if we go after the root key now and switch into the desktop, we can get into the desktop folder. We can view the contents of the desktop folder, but we can't actually read that file. If we take a look at the ACLs of that file, the administrator can read it. If we back up one, and take a look at the ACLs of all of these folders. We see that we have control over the desktop folder for the Alfred user, which means we can change the access control lists by issuing ACACLS desktop grant read permission for ourselves and slash t will propagate those changes into the contents of the folder. Great. We've just granted ourselves read access to the desktop root file. If we take a look at the ACLs again, of the root.txt. We now have full control over the root.txt, which means we can read the root flag, which means the chatterbox is done. We can switch back over to our pentest.ws, switch to our host, mark this as rooted, and now we've got two of the six machines for our retired engagement rooted. And that's it for Chatterbox. In this video, we saw that we can search the exploit database directly in the web application and pull up exploits directly with the click of a mouse. Sign up for your free account today at pentest.ws. Thanks for watching.